Oh, welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Don't forget to share our video, subscribe if you have not subscribed before, and uh, kindly subscribe. On this video, I'll be working you on the role transformation method. Role transformation method. And uh, I think as far as this role transformation method, if I've been following our videos, you know, you have been, uh, we have been on the um, you know, echelon, rank, and so on and so forth. But this time around, we'll be working on the role transformation method. That is what we're going to be talking about. But please take note of this thing. I will be using inverse, you know, you know, solving inverse. Okay, solving, solving inverse of what metrics now that is what we this method is all about i want to is just like you are looking at um our inverse of a equals to determinant of a bracket of what a joint a joint do you get it now that is what we are talking about that is what, and we know you know how to get your hard joint. You have to do your row reduction. After your row reduction, you transpose your row reduction. After transpose it, becomes what a joint. I think we have done that. We have videos on inverse of measures already. But this time around, I want to introduce a particular method which is called row transformation method. Now I have problem here, which are it will help us to. To, 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 I mean, to help to explain the method called what? Row transformation method. Now, for instance, I'm asked if A equals to 2 minus 1, minus 3, 1, 2, 1, 2 minus 2, minus 5. Now, find A inverse using row transformation method now look at this i want to force on this thing it's a very simple question the first thing i need to understand is that a solution before i can you know what's called row reduction that is the first video on uh, algebra you know linear algebra and i've told you that if we have a row reduction it means the principal diagonal will be numbers, which is uh, it will be like only the principal diagonal will be showing face, which I've told you earlier that uh, you have to reduce this only this part. Upper will be zero, other will be and uh, now the next thing you need, the very first thing you need to understand, you know what is called augment. You augment the, the, the matrix. Now, for instance, augment, augment, augmented matrix matrix will be equals to a augment of what of units please take note this is a unit vector or you call it identity vector i mean matrix now i will now reduce it to what a it now be what i of what of a now this point this is now the matrix it means a equals to what? A matrix. I mean inverse. This is the inverse of the given matrix. Here is known as inverse. Inverse. Why this one is called the matrix? You know that a unit, unit vector on by a uh, given uh, uh, vector become a what? Unit, I mean, it become a given vector. Now, if I should solve this with what I've explained now, you understand what is called augment now. Now, the, mean, the first thing I will do here, I will augment it. That is the first thing I will do so that I will be able to get what I need to get. It means I will have my A, um, uh, A I will be equals to what? 1 minus 1 minus 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, minus 5. Now, this is my argument. Is 0, I'm sorry, 1 is 0, 0. Is zero one is zero is zero zero one now and you see that is the identity now i've done what i need to do now the only thing is that i will make sure that 
the vector it will be in form of this like in form of this it means my a identity take note of this i'm just saying a inverse now my a inverse will be in form of um zero oh, sorry one is zero zero is zero one is zero is zero zero one now this one will not be what a b c d e f g h i now that is my what my now all what i have here are known as what i think i mean inverse of the given metrics and that is what i'm trying to work towards it means i will reduce this to a zero i will reduce this to a zero upper and lower only the diagonal will be what identity anything i have here become a what uh inverse of the got of the matrix that i'm looking for now with what i've explained now that is what we are working towards now it means i will start by having a reduction i want to do my reduction my reduction will be on um, now if i should reduce i can see that this is very comfortable for me i can see that what my arm one will be moved towards r2 now it means i just want to change it this is i've told you that this is a symbol for what reduction it means one two one zero one zero this one will now be two minus one minus three one is zero zero and here will be two minus two minus five is zero is zero one Please take note of that. Now, I've started my reduction anyway. Now, the next thing I will take now, the next step that I will take now is that um, I will have my what? Root 2. Root 2 can be equals to root 2 minus root 1. Root 2 minus root 1. Now, since I have that, I can also say that, um, mm -mm, yes, 2 root 1. Sorry. Let me put 2 root 1. And here will be root 3 will be equals to root 3 minus 2 root 1. Now, listen to me. Many of my friends, they always make mistake of doing this. How do I do? I'm, talk, I'm talking about root 2. What is my root 2? 2 minus 1 minus 3 and what? 1 is 0 is 0. Minus 2 root 2. 2 row 2, 2 row 1 rather, 2 row 1 will be what? 2 times, 2 times 1, I have 2, 2 times, uh, which is going to be 4, which is going to be what? I have um, 1, I mean I have 2, I have 0, I have 2, and I have 0. Now, can you see? Just minus like this, and it will be very easy for you to minus. Can you see? I will have zero. I will have a minus 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 five, and I will have um. Uh, this one will be uh, also. This one will be equals to what? I have minus five. Hope I'm not making a mistake. Anyway, now. Okay. Now, by so doing that, you have your answer without stress. Without stress. That's. The best way to go about it. It means I will move on by having um, the next thing I will have is what I will be having one, two, one is zero, one is zero, and here, here will now be equals to zero minus five, minus five, minus one, two, um, minus two, and zero. And here will now be equals to. I'm doing, don't forget the same thing. Root 3 minus 2 root 1 minus 2. It means this one will be accurately 0. Here will be equals to what? I have, uh, this is going to be 4. 4 minus minus, that will be what? 4 minus minus, it will be minus 6. I'm having minus 6. And um, this also will be what? Uh, 2. 2 minus minus which will be what um two minus minus it will be minus seven and this one will be equals to what um the next one will be equals to zero and the next one will be equals to minus two and the last one will be equals to 
one. Now, I've done the reduction. I mean, I'm still on the next step. I will take now to have it. I will have it. Um, I have this. I have this. I can decide to to to. Okay, I can decide to have. Um, okay, what can I do that will make the work to be more simpler? If I decide to to make it easy, I can say that what my row two equals to what row. 2 minus row 3. So just for you to have very good things here, I have, which is 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0. This one will be 0 minus 5, oh, row 2, sorry. This minus this, which will be what? I have 1, it will be 1, here will be 2, here will be, um, here will be 1, and, um, That to be one. If I'm not making mistake, here will be zero, and here will be minus one. Now, which I will return my zero minus six, zero minus two, one. Can you see? Now, I'm trying to reduce. Now, this one I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And also this one. It means I can say that uh, my root three. I can say that my root three equals to row 3 plus 6 row 2. I can also say that that, and uh, which I'll be having 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0. This also will be what? 0, uh, 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1. Now, this will be 0, 0. Yes. Now, 6, 12. 12 minus that will be 4. I'll be having four, which I'll be having, um, oh, I'll be having five, sorry, five, and here will be six, and here will be, uh, that will be zero minus two, and here will be six and uh, five, which will be minus five. Now, I'm reducing. Can you see, this part is okay. Now, remain this, this, and this. Now, how do I do that? I can easily say that, um, I can say that, um, what can I do? I can say that my row 2, hmm, okay, um, now, the next thing I need to do, let me reduce this to 0. Now, to reduce that to 0, I can easily say that, um, I can say that um, my row two, I mean row row one, can be equals to row one minus two row two, which I will have something good. I can also say that my row three can be equals to one all over five row three. Now, which I will have uh, now normally this would be z one zero, and um, we are having. 1 minus 4, which is 1 minus 4, it will be minus 1 minus 4, it will be, um, am I saying the right thing? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it will be 1 minus 4, I will have something, um, um, okay, I'll be minus 3, I'll be having minus 3, and uh, also this minus minus 3, minus 2, uh, 1, and 2. Now, I will have 1, 0, sorry, 0, 1, 5, 6, minus 2, minus 5. <laughs> 2, 1, 0, minus 1. Now, the last part will be 0, 0, 5, 6, minus 2, minus 5. Now, that is what I'm going to have. Now, the next thing I will have problem with is this and this. Now, what can I do to that area? I can say that what? My... I can easily say that um, my... Okay, what can I do? Okay, I'm thinking of what to do. Because that part... 
I have to be thin, I have to think very well to move out this. I can easily say that um, now if I decide to have it like uh, I have row two, row two minus. Oh, I'm having a mistake. There's a mistake here. I know below follow what I have here. This one will be five all over six. Five, six all over five. Here will be um two all over five, and here will be one. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Now, since I have that, I can now say that what my row um I can say that my row one will be equals to um two row now i can say that my row one equals to i can say that row one row one plus row three i can also say that my row two can be equals to uh I can also say that my row 3 can be equals to row 2 minus 2 row 1. I mean row 3. 2 row 3. Yes. Since I have that, it means I'll be having 1 is 0, minus 3, minus 2, 1, 2. And here will be 0, 1, and uh, when I have this, sorry, I made a mistake. I have to come back again. Now, when I do that, it will be equals to, um, uh, I think I'll be having, sorry, I have to be very fast. Okay. One is zero. This one will be one is zero, eight all over five. And uh, minus, minus one all over five. And minus one, and this also will be uh, is zero one, and uh, is zero. I will have minus seven all over five, and uh, four all over five, and one. The last part of it, it will just repeat what I'm having is zero one, which I'll be having zero one six all over five, minus two all over five, and minus one. That is what I'm having. Now, at this point, at this junction, I can now say that what my can you see my argument now? That is what I'm talking about. Now it means my um please permit me to rub this, sorry, so I'll be able to have now it means I will be saying that what one is zero zero eight all over five minus 1 all over 5 minus 1 1 4 all over 5 minus 7 all over 5 0 1 0 and um, 0 0 1 6 all over 5 minus 2 all over 5 and uh, minus 1 that is what I'm having now, can you see that I can answer that my A inverse will be equal to, can you see what I'm having here? What I'm having there, I can now say that 1 all over what? 5, bracket of, here will be 8, here will be minus 1, here will be minus 5, here will be uh, minus 7, here will be 4, here will be 5, and here will be 6, here will be minus 2, here will be minus 5. Now, can you see this become a what my inverse of a what of matrix? And we all know that back to elementary mathematics, that my inverse, A inverse, equals to what? One all over what determinant of A uh, multiplied by what? The adjoint. The adjoint of the what? Now it means this is the adjoint. It means my adjoint, my adjoint of A will be equals to what? 8 minus 1 minus 5 minus 7 4 5 6 minus 2 minus 5 that is my adjoint take note of that they can ask you to find adjoint now as it is now that is what i'm going to be working on on the next video i can't just stop here because of time 
as it is, you can generate a given simultaneous equation, which, like, somebody has us, just make a look of this information. Somebody asks you to do something like this, which you need to. You are asked to find x, y, and uh, z, or x1, x2, x3. Now, anyhow it comes, they can ask you to do something like this. Uh, find x1, x2, x3 hmm? in the given equation. Equations. Now, look at these equations. I have 2x1 minus x2 minus 3x3 equals to 1 and um, um, x1 plus 2x2 x3 equals to 3 and 2x1 minus 2x2 minus 5x3 equals to what? 2. Now, you can get normal way of doing some situation. The only thing you can just do here, you will just generate something like this. Now, the metric become 2. Don't forget that I will have my matrix, I will have my vector, and it will be equals to what? B. B is just like the augment part, which is this equal to part. This are B. This is called B. It means I can say that my, what is my A? My A are the coefficient of what? Of the variable given to you. Which I will be having um, 2, minus 1, minus 3, and um, 1, minus 1, 1, sorry, 1, 2, and um, 1, and 2, minus 2, minus 5. Now, this might be x, if x will be now be what? Um, uh, what is it? x, y, 1, 2, x, 3. It will be equal to, what is my b? 1, 3, now. To use this method, to use this method, what I just need to do, you know that I've told you earlier that uh, we have to what? A of what? Unit will be equal to what? Um, I of what unit? I mean, I unit of augment of what? Of now, I will now do the my augment. Once I have this, I will run the way I run this one. It means by the hand, I will have this. I will have this. Will be multiplying what? Uh, with, it, it means whatever I have here, it will be multiplying the what? The uh, the, the the B parts. And by so doing that, I've solved my x and y. Next video, I will try to explain that area. I think, uh, I think by now, we should have an idea of what? Row reduction method. You can only know linear algebra or metrics very well by practicing. Uh, so you can just keep practicing every time, you know, you get to know it. Uh, I think with what I've done, you have the idea how to work on uh, row uh, transformation method. Once again, I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching.